Miss Delight was not always a monster. <laughs> this is her sad origin story. Once upon a time, in the bustling town of Brightsville, there lived a young girl named Carmen. From the moment she could walk, Carmen's curiosity about the natural world knew no bounds. While other children played with toys, she was out exploring the woods, observing insects, and listening to the birds chirping in the trees. As Carmen grew older, her love for biology only intensified. She spent countless hours buried in books, learning about the intricate workings of plants and animals. While her classmates were busy with sports and socializing, Carmen could be found in the school library, absorbed in her studies. Naturally, this made her a bit of an outsider. Weirdo. Kids didn't quite understand why Carmen preferred dissecting frogs to playing ball. But Carmen didn't mind. She found solace in her books and in the quiet company of nature. In the midst of her solitary explorations in the woods, Carmen stumbled upon a hidden talent that would change her life in unexpected ways. As she roamed among the trees, and gathered fallen leaves and twigs, Carmen discovered the art of crafting intricate necklaces from the treasures she found scattered on the forest floor. With nimble fingers and a creative eye, she weaved together strands of ivy, delicate flowers, and polished stones to create stunning pieces of jewelry that sparkled in the sunlight. Inspired by her newfound passion, oh, wow. Carmen you. began to share her creations with her classmates, offering them as gifts of friendship to those who had once shunned her. With newfound acceptance from her peers, Carmen continued to pursue her passion for biology. She studied hard, earning top marks in her classes, and eventually graduated with honors. Carmen decided to become a teacher, wanting to channel her love for science unto others. Her first job was at a small kindergarten on the outskirts of town. The moment Carmen stepped through the doors, she knew she had found her calling. The children greeted her with wide-eyed wonder, eager to learn from this strange biology-loving woman. But amidst the laughter and the learning, there lurked a shadow. A shadow in the form of a cat named Catnap. Catnap was the kindergarten's resident feline. A creature with piercing eyes and a mischievous grin. Despite the owner's assurances that Catnap was harmless and only there to assist with the children's naps, Carmen couldn't shake the feeling of distrust that settled in the pit of her stomach. As she went about her duties, Catnap would follow her every move, his shadow looming over her like a dark omen. And though she tried to ignore his presence, Carmen couldn't shake the feeling that Catnap harbored ill intentions towards her setting the stage for a clash of wills that would ultimately lead to tragedy. At first, Carmen paid little attention to Catnap. She was too busy teaching the children about the wonders of the natural world, the delicate petals of a flower, the graceful flight of a butterfly. But Catnap had other plans he didn't like the way Carmen captivated the children's attention, stealing away their affections with her tales of biology and adventure. So, he devised a cunning scheme to rid the kindergarten of this unwanted intruder. Catnap 
with his keen feline senses and cunning intellect, began to stalk Carmen from the shadows, silently observing her every move with a calculating gaze. He would lurk in the corners of the kindergarten, hidden from sight but always watching, as Carmen went about her daily routine. From the moment she arrived in the morning until the last child was picked up in the evening, Catnap studied her habits and routines, learning the intricacies of her schedule with meticulous precision. He noted the times she took her breaks, the routes she walked through the halls, and the moments when she was most vulnerable. Under the cover of night, Catnap extended his sinister influence beyond the confines of the kindergarten, infiltrating the sanctuary of Carmen's home with his malevolent presence. With stealthy steps and gleaming eyes, he prowled the shadows of her garden, his eerie silhouette lurking among the bushes as he watched Carmen through the windows. Catnap would unleash a cacophony of unsettling sounds, rustling branches, and mysterious whispers that echoed through the darkness, sending shivers down Carmen's spine and filling her dreams with nightmares. His goal was clear, to spook her, to instill fear in her heart and drive her away from the job that had become her passion. With each passing day, Catnap grew more confident in his plan, biding his time until the perfect moment presented itself to strike and rid the kindergarten of the intruder who threatened his dominion. One fateful day, as Carmen was preparing for another day of teaching, Catnap struck. With a flick of his tail and a sinister hiss, he unleashed a cloud of gas that enveloped Carmen in its noxious embrace. Carmen gasped as the gas seeped into her lungs, her vision swimming as her body contorted and twisted. She cried out in pain as her skin stretched and shifted. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the gas cleared, leaving behind a creature unlike anything the world had ever seen. Carmen was gone, replaced by a monstrous being with shimmering golden hair. Carmen became Miss Delight, she became a monster. <laughs>